Bun găsit! Invitatul meu de astăzi este Joel Lamach. Bine ai venit, Joel! Mersi! Salutare, All Romania! Joel este fotbalist și mai nou organizator de evenimente, dar să începem cu începutul. Întâi și întâi a fost fotbalist. Când ai început să joci fotbal? Ah. When you started to play? I started to play, I think, in 2008. It was my first club in Egypt. It was my first season with the club they called Dakhalia. So, I was so young <laughs> and it was some experience, my first experience professional. It was in 2008 in Egypt. And uh, you are playing in Cluj-Napoca now? Yeah, I'm playing Cluj-Napoca. You know, the football, <laughs> you can be everywhere. Like today, you can be in this city and you can be in this city. That's why they are telling usually the football player is with his bag all the time. So yeah, I'm in Cluj-Napoca now. And I'm happy I'm in Cluj-Napoca. It's a good city, good people, and uh, I really enjoy this city. At uh, what team do you play now? I play with Victoria Cluj, support 02. Nice. Uh, you are the champions of the fourth league. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We finished champions. I want to say thank you, first of all, to all our, uh, our dirigent, like the president, Mr. Mihai Usu, and the president too. All the technical staff, all the players make this to be happen. But it was just the beginning because we have a difficult game with the barrage with the team of Satumari. So I think we are trying to promote in Liga 3. Nice. Uh, you've played in uh, Egypt, in Oman? Yeah, I play in Egypt like almost six, seven years in first league. And I traveled to Oman with the club de Cordofar for six months long. And after that, I came back to Egypt and I played two years where I meet uh, Mohamed Salah in game. And I become, um, Egypt become so familiar for me because I went there, I was so young, I played all my career. And I went to Saudi Arabia too. And I played there and after I came to Cluj. Yeah. Uh, did you know something about uh, the football is from Romania, about the clubs? Yeah, I know, I know. I know a lot about uh, the clubs because when we was young, Like before, you was listening about Dinamo Bucharest. Uh, a lot of teams there. We have Dinamo. Now you can see Chefere. We have, we have Cluj. We have like I, when I was so young, I was looking to one great football player from Romania. It was one of my favorites, Adrian Miku. Mutu. Mutu, yeah, Adrian Mutu. It was the amazing player, one of the top scorer. I I really like. Yeah. When uh, you're not playing football, what are you doing? Ah, when I'm not playing football, I, I watch football on the TV. <laughs> yeah, I usually watch some matches. And I have a lot of friends too, usually. They are coming to stay. We're making some program. And anyhow, we watching movies. And we're making our traditional food, our culture from home. We try to make some food and to not forget about home. Something like that. And you are bringing a little bit of your home in uh, Cluj on uh, 2nd of June. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a concert. It's a concert, yeah. From uh, like, uh, it's a big concert. Like it will be something so special. Like uh, maybe the first of the first people to do it because I'm bringing someone from France, one of the best young artists from France. And he already have a song with one artist famous here in Romania, they call Nosfi. So it's a shock of culture. We are trying to make something where people can really enjoy. On the 2 June, it will be really, really a nice concert because he has a lot of great song, a lot of good song and a lot of good vibes to, to give to the people that day. Limo was your um, school? Mate? Yeah, yeah, he was my schoolmate. When we was young, we was together at school. So in Guinea. In Guinea, before he traveled to Paris and live all his life there, and he become an artist. So that's why I think because like uh, in Cluj, I saw people, young people are there, and it's a lot of students too. So many of people. So I asked him to come to make a concert, and he was surprised because he was before in Bucharest there, and he made clip there in Bucharest with Nosfe. 
So I told him, yeah, it's a nice city too in Romania. They call it Cluj Napoca. And when you come, you will see. And he went and saw, and he told me, yeah, it's interesting. So we try and we work on it. And we try to make an event on 2 June in Euphoria. And when I think for that, I think about the culture first. And after I have an idea to make it as a charity too, from the Ukrainian war. And first of all, I want to say something. I want to thank the Romanian community, the government of Romania, and all the citizens of Romania for what they did since this war started in Romania. Me as a foreign person living here, I really appreciate that. And I think the young people, the kids, they will learn from what the parents are doing. So I really want to thank all the citizens of Romania. And I'm waiting for everyone on the 2 June in Euphoria. We have to, because as I tell, me, I come from Africa. I know what is mean of war. The war make a lot of kids. They never see their parents. It's a lot of stuff. So when I saw Romanian people, how they stand up for Ukrainian people, I said myself, I need to do something. And these people, they do. I'm really grateful. I want to thank every Romanians, every guy from this city for what they did. And we too, as a foreign, what we can do, that's what I think to do now, is to invite everyone to come on to June and Euphoria to celebrate, because it's something for peace. That's why I call the time of peace, the events. I name it time of peace. So, and I thank to everyone in this studio, make us to come here. We can tell to people like, we are making something, you give us a chance to come here. So thank you and thank you. Și eu îți mulțumesc, Joel. Și eu îți mulțumesc, mulțumesc. Așadar, Joel și echipa lui vă așteaptă pe 2 iunie la Euphoria Music Hall de la ora 10 până în zor. Da, da. Să-i ascultați pe Limo și Nosfe și să vă simțiți bine și să faceți o faptă bună ajutându-i pe refugiații din Ucraina. And don't forget, we have uh, some dancer too from Romania. Afro dancer, they call it Project 8-8. They will be there too.